IST is a unique college because it's interdisciplinary. It is what I call the new wave of information technology research and a new, uh, also new education uh, for educating the next uh, generation of IT workforce. Research at IST is very exciting because it is one of the few areas that, that links a combination of a better understanding of people at the individual, group, social, national level with technology, the, the traditional computer science and information technology and so on, with an understanding of the basic components of information. So what we like to do and what we like to think we're doing is integrating these three into one and bringing them together. So really looking again at the human element, how it affects the human element, how it affects our society, how it affects our culture. The approach that we take to doing research is the apprentice approach. So for example, I've been doing a major study uh, since 2002 of women in the information economy in the United States. So these students come with me on the interviews, they start out by observing me, and then they participate in the interviews, and then as they get to be in their senior years, then they actually conduct interviews themselves. I have done significant traveling to do this research, both here in the U.S. and on a global context. It's very fulfilling to work on things here in the College of IST and then actually see the implications as you roll it out to different organizations and different institutions across the world. In my research, I am trying to find out how and why people are more willing to trade off their personal information in order to gain some benefits from disclosing their personal data. We're building some very new search engines. One is uh, ChemXSeer, which is for chemistry. The search engine is uh, very unique. It's the first, the first of its kind. Not only does it allow you to search for chemical formulae, it also allows you to search for information in tables and also for information in figures. And this is online now as a uh, beta prototype. Content-based image retrieval is the retrieval of uh, images from a large collection based on the automatically attracted uh, features from the pixels. We retrieve images based on the pixel content. One you know, major area of application would be in biomedicine. You know, we see uh, millions and millions of uh, digital images acquired in hospitals. And potentially, you know, uh, we can have computer look at past cases and suggest you know, solutions for new patients. In the context of IST, human-computer interaction is like the whole universe, you know, because we're, the whole college is about people interacting with technology and through technology. When we have a, uh, an HCI, human-computer interaction lab, here in IST, people can come up, we set up the tasks, and they work on tasks, and we record everything that they do. So we collect a lot of data to try to figure out how they're approaching problems and the kinds of success that they have, and also how they feel about it afterwards, you know, their affect towards the experience. What we try to do is to develop technology to help a uh, uh, computer to provide information truly relevant to people decision-making tasks. So we focus on the process of decision-making and we use cognitive model as the foundation to capture that process and use that process as a way to figure out what is truly relevant to what people need for their decision. I'm really interested in ways of getting communities who have not historically been users of information technologies. So looking at them and trying to think about ways to get them engaged with technology. When I started doing this research, there was a lot of talk about digital divide. So this idea that we have populations who lack access. And um, now as more and more people are going online, I think it's important to be able to show that these um, groups of people who historically might not have been users are becoming adept and that they should be seen as um, you know, part of this e-society that we're creating. My lab and group is developing uh, security software, software tools that can protect uh, personal computers and servers from malicious attacks, malware, viruses, worms. They steal your 
sensitive personal information, they also destroy files in some cases. About a third of the research that's conducted by IST is uh, supported by industry, and that's a relatively high amount, both compared to the university and compared to uh, any other uh, universities around. My research in the College of IST primarily involves collaboration across organizations, uh, the knowledge flows that support that, the decision making uh, that supports that. I do a lot of work in typical manufacturing environments where companies like Boeing or Lockheed Martin or others would be bringing together innovations from across multiple suppliers to link into their product architectures. And so I look at collaboration across the supply chain, I look at coordination mechanisms, um, I look at effect effectiveness of networks. For Lockheed Martin, we've done uh, work involving our NeoCity simulation, looking at uh, different kinds of distributed cognitive activities that are necessary in order to impact team performance. And this is very important in terms of battle management, the use of information analysis and, and teamwork. The College of IST has definitely helped me grow in terms of uh, giving me uh, access to stuff I'd never seen before, teaching me about uh, areas of research that I'd never heard of before, and then showing me how to put those pieces together to come up with whole new threads of research that very few people are working on, and then trying to find new boundaries that have yet to be explored. As a faculty member here in IST, I have the luxury of being able to draw on colleagues from across campus. And when you sit in a major research university that has a lot of federal sponsorship, Department of Defense sponsorship, a lot of industrial sponsorship, you find there's a richness of resources and a richness of networks and contacts that you don't have in smaller places. I think the fact that we are a Research One university, that we're one of the best and one of the strongest in the country, creates the opportunity and the playground, if you will, the sandbox for young scholar to come in and to do very, very great things. Penn State is an excellent research institution. I think that for IT, the special benefit is this great range of things. So everything from agriculture to nanotechnology, and IT is affects and is affected by all of those areas. So it's a world of opportunity.